Hi, my name's Kathy and I'm an occupational therapy assistant over at Pathways. I'm gonna walk you through how to use the Write My Name app. Um, this is an app that we typically use in the classrooms um, for writing practice, um, especially for students to write their own names because it does have the option for us to create what they call a name tag. So we can put in each student's name so they can practice writing the letters of their name um, in upper and lowercase letters. It also has an alphabet book so they can practice individual letters and some word cards for ready-made words, um, some sight words that they might see in their reading lessons, um, and they can practice writing those as well. Um, I am going to switch over to screen share so you can see what it's going to look like on your device screen, but before I do that, I just want to let you know if you have any questions or if you need any guidance or if you're looking for some lower tech options to work on the goals that are in your child's IEP, you can reach out to our occupational therapist, Dana, or the occupational therapy assistant that works in your child's classroom. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to screen share. You can go ahead and select the app called My Name. And I like to go into settings and make sure that finger paint mode is clicked on. That will show you what your child's writing looks like. You can go into the My Name tags and click on edit. Then you'll wanna click on add and you can add an image. You can either take a photo of your child or you can choose a photo from your um, photo album. I'm just gonna do a blank screen. Um, and then you can go ahead and type your child's name. And you can use upper and lowercase letters, however you want it to appear. And then it asks you to record their name. So when they're finished writing, it will say it to them. Um, and then you can go ahead and you can confirm that everything looks correct. I like to do a little playback <laughs> so I can check how it sounds. All right, and then you've got your name tag created. So you can click done. Um, and then you'll see that when you go back, you can click into the name tags and your saved name will be saved um, under the name tags. So when you click on that, it's gonna highlight where your child should be tracing the letters of their name. And they can just use their finger or a stylus if you have one, and they can go ahead and trace their name. And you'll see that it's not perfect when I'm doing it because this is that finger paint mode so that you can see where they're actually tracing versus um, without that, it just kinda shows up exactly um, the same way it was in the faded, what you would trace. Um, you can do a screenshot so that their writing can be saved and you can send it over to the occupational therapy assistant that works with them. Um, these are the word cards. So these ones are all uppercase, um, but you'll notice in the top right corner, the option to change it to lowercase and they can just trace those words and then it kind of unlocks the image for each word um, as they've gone through and done it. Um, the next thing that they have is the alphabet book, and this is just a page of uppercase, lowercase letters. So you can select a letter and they can trace it just to get some practice in. Um, you know, and again, you can do screenshots if you'd like, um, or you can just go ahead and have them practice the letters. Um, we would love copies of anything that you can get to us. 